All right, guys, let's do a quick video here. We're just doing a water change. We're going to do about a third water change. Uh, I do that every two weeks. Uh, never really have a problem with um, water parameters or anything like that. Um, I do have a lot of filtration in this tank, so I've got the sponge filter at the back there. Um, that one gets cleaned out every, uh, the sponge gets cleaned out every time I do a water change. We've got the two big canisters at the bottom, um, so I do have a lot of filtration. Um, it's a uh, four foot by two foot by two and a half. Um, and it's running, um, currently it has around 40 Africans in there. Um, sorry, about 30 Africans and then some other fish like Cynodonus and um, Placos, etc. Um, so yeah, I just normally run this, um, the Python along here. It is good when you have a wood floor to use the piping because you're not going to get too much water. Always put a small loop in your hose. Um, that will help the water flow and not to collapse. And then you just run it into the sink, just like that. And we'll actually come in here and wash out that sponge for the filter in that same water because 90% of that water is out of the tank. And with that much filtration and that much media, running in those canisters it doesn't really matter if you wash that sponge filter out in um in fresh water anyway and there's also a lot of media in the uh, in the holding part of that sponge filter as well just there if these fish will move um now i'll also do a vacuum here in a minute sorry i don't have anyone to hold the camera but i'm going to uh, to vacuum the gravel a little bit move some things around and then um yeah, and then I'll try to video a little more. All right, so I've got my son to actually record this so you can see, but we're just gonna wash this sponge filter out. A great way to do it is just underneath this running water, and eventually that is gonna come out really brown. As you can see there. And again, this is probably like 90% tank water that's coming out of here with a little bit of fresh water for the suction. But um, with the amount of media in that tank, it really doesn't matter. If we didn't have all that media, you obviously wouldn't do this. You would use a bucket of water with tank water and do it. But I've been doing it this way for years and there's never a problem because of the amount of good media that I have. Yeah, I'll just record a little bit. I have just vacuumed the tank, but you can just see here, we just go along and we just suck up any of the uh, extra debris that's in the gravel that has built up over the last few weeks. And we keep the gravel fairly clean. I don't go too crazy with it, but, um, but again, a lot of bio load in this tank, so you, you don't have to worry too much. All right, and that's about as far down as what I'm going to go. So that is roughly a third, maybe a little over a third today. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, I wouldn't go too much further than that though. So we'll turn off that suction and we'll start to refill the tank. Um, one thing I do every time is I add in around a half a cup of aquarium salt. The cichlids love the salt. They do like an alkaline water. Um, I don't add any additives at all. I don't add prime or any stabilizers. These fish are very healthy, very hardy. Um, just a little bit of salt each time is all that I do. Water change is all done for another two weeks. Crystal clear, looking great.